Okay, welcome back, guys. The National Museum of History. No, today yeah. we're playing First <laughs> Encounter <laughs> by YSTY Games. It is a place where we're going into the National Museum of History. They say a place to learn, a place to think, but above all, a place to buy overpriced cups of tea. Okay, let's go buy some tea, I guess. All right. Come on, guys. You want... Yeah. Oh, you walk inside and look around. You see some exhibits which might interest you or at least distract you momentarily. Huh. So do we look at the historical glasses, look at the historical book, look at the historical communication device, or look at the historical box? A box, really? Let's look at the box. <laughs> um, Boy, they just jump you right in. We yeah. don't even know our mission. I know. I don't think it's to get tea. Uh, okay, look at the box if that makes you happy. Okay, let's look at the box. A box rumored to contain fun. This has never been substantiated as no one has yet to bother to open it. Do we get to open it? Why no? No, that's not a choice. Okay. Okay. Let's, uh, let's look at the historical... Painting? Yeah. Historical screen? Historical keyboard? Or historical guitar? Hmm. What do you want to look at? Yeah, but... Let's go with guitar. I don't know why they're not going to let us touch it. They wouldn't even let us open the box. I know. Okay, go ahead. All right, let's see what happens. Found broken into two amongst the personal possessions of one technician, Barry. Little was known about this person before he flooded the mining ship <laughs> Proxima Centauri with radiation, killing the entire crew, minus one cat. A cat survived. Ha. Huh. Dun, dun, dun. Look around. You see the most beautiful person in the world. Your eyes meet, and you feel like you've met your soulmate. Am I mistaken? Is this the right time? What if I make a fool of myself? Huh. Of course you'll <laughs> click that. <laughs> <laughs> move towards the stranger. Move away from the stranger. Ugh, you must move towards her. Are you sure? Of course. It's probably a ghost. Maybe. You wake up and look around. You hear the roar of engines. How long have you been in hypersleep? Dude, what? <laughs> oh, okay. Get out of this. <laughs> we were in a museum pod. checking out some woman. Yeah, wow. Okay, well, get out of the pod. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, the C.S. Conrad is one of those old, reliable sublight ships that you wouldn't trust to get you into orbit without spontaneously combusting. The local Galactic Council has requisitioned her services to help roll out the new FTL faster than light hubs to the outer colonies, only reachable at sublight speeds. These colonies have been disconnected from the other worlds for centuries. It is hoped that by linking them in with the FDL network, central planets might have access to new sources of workers and raw materials. The we were just going to talk to a woman, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm confused. The journey through the colonies is expected to take roughly a century. Wow. As such, the crew will have to remain in a hypersleep for the duration. Crap, we shouldn't have gotten out of our pod. <laughs> close log. I guess hmm. close the log. All right. This is, I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> you, you, you get to read this one. You check the computers only 20 years into the trip. You shouldn't have been woken this early. The whir of the engines is making it hard for you to think. What did the computer wake me and not the others? I'm not the captain. The noise is becoming deafening. Do you try to mentally block out the sound of the engines? Try to find some earmuffs? Or open Minesweeper and try to take your mind off of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you would open Minesweeper. Yeah, let's do Minesweeper. Seriously? Yeah, let's Seriously? Boom! <laughs> <laughs> you had the best of times. You never were very good at this game. <laughs> Not just from wait, just waking up from hypersleep, distracted by the noise of a set of iron engines that should have been sent to the scrap heap years ago, and slightly annoyed at the fact that you're probably not going to get overtime pay for this, any skill you had at this game has evaporated. <laughs> Why was I woken up? <laughs> Wait, the engines. They shouldn't be firing. The last period of acceleration should have been 15 years ago, and we're not going to start decelerating for another 85 years. Hmm. You check the computer again. This is why you were woken up, but why me? I can't fix this. I don't have clearance to override the engines. You check the power levels. They're quickly running out. If the engines keep firing, you won't have enough power to decelerate before crashing into one of the colonies. Or worse, overshooting and drifting off of deep space forever. Do you think? Do you think really hard? Or do you bloody well think? I'm going to go with you better bloody, yeah, well, bloody think. well think. Yeah, bloody well think. 
<clears throat> okay, you're high enough rank that you can wake up stasis, stasis section A in an emergency. That's 14 crew members and the captain. She should be able to deactivate the engines. But we only had enough stasis fluid to freeze the crew once. When they've been working up, they can't go back in hypersleep. <laughs> They'll die of old age long before we reach the colonies. Well, that's going to suck. Wait a minute. Are we going to die of old age before we reach the colonies now? I think so. Oh, I don't want to do that. Unless we can hurry up and wake them up and reset it so we go back to sleep. You think there might be enough for one more freeze? You, Just for us? What's that not? Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't really matter. We don't have any other choices. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. There must be another way, let's, or it sounds worth it. Let's try. Let's surely. We yeah, we don't want to kill fourteen people uh, plus the captain. The only other option is an emergency deceleration. Detach the forward cargo hold and detonate it. The rapid deceleration will probably kill you, <laughs> and you'll have just blown to bits up, up to the FTR relays you were supposed to be transporting to the colonies. But at least the ship and crew will get there in one piece, give or take a few extra decades. They're in hypersleep. Mm. They're not going to care. No, they won't care. Um, those don't sound like good options, but if there's no other way, <laughs> maybe <laughs> I should go back to sleep and the problem will sort itself out. <laughs> well, yeah, let's see. I don't think we should go back to sleep, really. Okay. All that right. would be unfair. Okay, we'll try it out. Uh, do you want to... There's no, no words. You can oh. either do emergency deceleration or wake the captain. You know... You're going to die of old age. Yeah. It won't hurt the captain to suffer with you. I'm going to say wake the captain. Yeah, wake the captain. That seems fair. You you wake up. Your lover glares at you with a desperate hatred. Whoa, what? <laughs> Please don't look at me like that. Wait, wasn't I just on a spaceship? <laughs> <laughs> I okay. am so lost. Okay. I'm going to go with, wait, wasn't I just on a spaceship? Yeah, let's do that. You ever gets up from the bed and leaves the room. It's been months since you met at the museum. Things haven't been going well. You want to cry. In the back of your mind, you hear the voice of your captain as you fade away. Hey, it's okay. We're all here. Everyone is here. Close your, oh. <laughs> Close your eyes. The end. Whoa, that's really bizarre. Ending one of four. One of four. That was very weird. I don't want to know the rest. I'm confused and, and totally <laughs> lost. <laughs> well, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, this was yeah. First Encounter from YSTY Games. Um, if you can think of another game you'd like to see us check out, please leave a comment and we'll see if we can find it for you. Clearly, we'll look at anything. Please like and share.